Today we're working on solving equations. It's a standard. And one of the problems that people are having is solving literal equations. That means equations that have mostly letters in them. Here's an example of one of them. Y equals mx plus b solve for b. Well, that one's relatively easy because we circle the b and we subtract mx on both sides and we get y minus mx equals b. That's our answer. There's nothing more to it. Um, I think that some people get problems with the idea that you're taking mx from y. Well, you're simply doing that, but you're writing this down as, as written. Um, when we get to, that's case one. Case two, they may ask you for the same equation, but we're going to solve this time for m. And you may get any one of these on the standards test. Solving for m, same deal with the b. We want to move that onto the other side. We get y minus b equals mx, and divide by x this time because we want to clear everything away so that we have just m on one side. m equals y minus b over x. It's that simple. It's actually just two steps. And the third case is as follows. That's case two. The third case is... One, two, three. Y equals mx plus b, and we're going to solve for x. And it's very similar to what we just did. We go ahead and subtract b on both sides. We get y minus b on this side equals mx. And now we're dividing, we're looking for x, so we're dividing by m, and we get x equals y minus b over m. And that's all she wrote. We're done with that part of the standards. Again, equation solving for literal equations, that means equations that have letters, mostly letters, and we have to manipulate the letters in order to solve for our chosen one letter, X, M, or B in the case of Y equals MX plus B. Thank you, John.